Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. I missed y'all yesterday, but y'all I had to work. Even though I worked from home, I wasn't feeling well at all. And I know what I have. This my bronchitis and my sinusitis or panusitis congested it all the way up. But your girl sat down. I, I got my mucinex. I got my Sudafed. I got my elderberry, and we going to town. My lozenges, my vapor, Vicks rub, and we trying to pull it back together. But I don't think I still got my alto worked out as yet. Because you're coming to the show of, don't be telling my business. Why you telling my business? Because I can't can, and I can't can, I can't can, I can't can, and I will. Okay, because it's scandalous. And it's marvelous. See, I ain't got it all the way back. I ain't got it all the way back, y'all, but it's coming. It is coming back. And I just didn't want to leave y'all with another day. And I definitely wanted to say pre-Merry Christmas to you all. And for the ones that don't believe in Christmas and all the hoopla and all that, happy holidays. Happy Kwanzaa. Or uh, I, I don't know what else to say to you. Have a good very prosperous year for the remainder of this year and next year okay but for those who are out there traveling make sure you wear your mask you got your hand sanitizers and kind of stay away from people give six feet distance to the ones that you haven't been around for a while you don't know if they've gotten their uh vaccinations or whatnot just be safe for your own peace of mind okay even if you got to talk with your mask everything is cool but we're going to get right on in to the business of why we came to the house. So come on in. You don't have to ring the doorbell. But put your keys in the trays because you ain't going to be going nowhere anytime soon. Because I got about two or three, four videos to put out. So y'all can enjoy me when y'all are waiting for the dinner to be served. Or you're traveling to where you're going and you need some entertainment, some laughs or whatnot. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKV. Just kicking it with Mama Dale, Auntie Dale. However you see me, Grandma Dale. Okay, we are still in the house and we still cutting up. Yes, hit that like button. Set your behind down. And let's flow with the conversation. Okay, because we can can over here. Tell what we feel is our truth. Now, I don't know what the hell is going on with Portia Williams, okay? Seems like since she met this false pseudo billionaire, millionaire, however you want to say, the man of her dreams, like she's in a fairy tale somewhere, she has been cutting up. And I don't like what I hear. Now, I was over there minding my own business, sitting in the uh, free lane or... Uh, and then Bush is how you kind of say when you got beefing going on on this YouTube street segments. Uh, I was over there at Tisa Tales. And Tisa Tales was getting down with all her comedian-like ways. She's a trip and a half. If you don't know who she is, just uh, YouTube Tisa, T-I-S-A, Tales. And you'll fall right on in there. She's a lovely, beautiful, young YouTuber out there that's doing her thing. And she comes up with the receipts, girl. Yes, honey. But child, she was up there saying, both of them busted. How I look at it, he cheated on her. He tried to make amends. He tried to talk to her family. You know, which she, most men really don't have to do. It's like, if I don't made up with you, you know, F your family. Okay, if you feel that way. You know, most of them, they try to get back in with the family so everything be kosher and cool. Especially since they had a child. But honey, I heard over there talking or listening to Tisa Tell. Like, dang, what kind of woman? Did you raise, honey? Why is she over there trying to put paws on Dennis's mama? <coughs> yes, y'all. That's what I heard. If y'all don't know, go on over to Tisa Tales. She tell it for herself. Now, I love this allegedly. But from her good sources, this woman that raised Portia, girl, don't be her, her uh, equal. Because you're not her equal. You're her mother. You're supposed to be setting an example. Look at her. Okay. She dressed her like a little labor hoe, okay? Got to be a little hoe running around here, because that's what she looked like. Kind of remember, I told you, this is the actual picture I was telling y'all about when I was comparing the similarities to Marilyn Monroe, okay? This girl, she cutting up. That's all I can say. And she needs to go back to therapy, because it's not helping her. Being with this man and busting it on low, 
riding it low, busting it wide open because a man have a big bank account, you know, impregnate me. That's this is what Diane uh born into this world. That's a hot mess. But like I said, the apple don't fall too from the spoiled fruit tree. Okay? So the the, the fruit was spoiled, of course you're gonna have spoiled apples. And that's where Portia derived from. But she can still get her act together. She can break that generational curse and turn over a new leaf. But my God my God, we're going to have to pray for Portia, seriously, because if she called herself, now that was just them, now Fallon got over this man and cut ties, surely Portia can do the same thing, but I'm not worried about uh, neither one of them at the time, Simon or Portia, okay, Simon is a non-mother elfing factor in this situation you probably won't even hear me unless i'm talking something real slick and stupid about him because i don't want to hear nothing about him i'm more concerned about why poor shaw williams allegedly is trying to put a pause on a senior okay she must have bumped her head and lost her mind because if she came flying through the air we don't know what miss gina miss gina would have probably caught her in mid-air sucker punched her Pulled her ass down and dragged her all over that restaurant. And where was Portia Mama? Up here in Atlanta hiding from Mama Gina. Okay. I'm like, I know not this to be true. This can't be true. Because only thing Portia has shown us has always been a loving, good mother. Going to work, two jobs. And then got her own entrepreneurship going on. And that's the Portia I knew. She was working for Dish Nation. The girl was hustling out here. She was on, um... Real Housewives of Atlanta. Hell, she had Dennis up there at her Dish Nation job one time trying to co-host and shit. And then she going to go over here and try to put pause on Mama. I said, let, let me go up with Portia. Now, you know, I ain't never wanted to go find a celebrity. But I was like, let me go find Portia. Let me go. And say, baby, is this true? Because I, I need to find Miss Gina, too, and just put them both together since Portia ain't got no Mama worth no grain of salt that's going to sit down. I mean, sit down and let her daughter disrespect the elder. Now, I don't care how much you may not like this woman or she just gets up under your skin. Guess what? She family now. Unfortunately, that's just how the cookie crumbles because you sat up there, put Dennis in your life, paraded him around social media and the streets of Atlanta as being your fiance and he had money you know what I'm saying he had money at this time and now you're trying to drag him in the street tell me he ain't got no money okay well how did he buy uh the robes that y'all wear and probably the clothing that y'all are matching outfits with and your ring okay what what about your ring Portia that you begged back twice for okay that you begged back twice for is it was it real? Then you talking about the man sitting up here wearing fake Rolexes. Were well, you wearing one of those fake Rolexes when you were with him, and you were trying to pass it off as being real? Tell me. And I believe they were real. They probably wasn't the cream of the crop of what how they say look on the top shelf. They probably wasn't the top shelf of Rolexes, but I'm pretty sure they were the economical type of Rolexes. Cause three to four. Three to four thousand dollars. Hell, that's a lot of a, a lot of money. I only have a coach watch, and it's less than well, it's about one fifty what I paid for it. You know what I'm saying? But you probably could get them on sale at the outlet store. But I said that to say this: money is money. However you see it, how frugal you want to be with, or how overly expensive, expensive you want to be with it. It's all for show. You're putting it on a pile of dirt. Because that's all we humans are. A meat uh, closet. A meat suit walking around. That's dirt. You know, we came from dirt and we're going to return back to the dirt. So you can perfume it up. You can expensive wardrobe it up. It's still dirt that you putting on. All right. So keep that. Uh, I go over here and stutter and kick, kick, kick like I'm, wicka, 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 like I'm scratching over here. God damn, Portia. You see how you got me fucked up? You got me fucked up real bad because ain't no way in the world I would be in, in the midst of anything. And I'm going to let some young woman like you try to come at somebody senior and citizen like Miss Gina. I don't care if Miss Gina would have gave you the, the uh, what do you call it, the worst type of uh, verbalness. Uh, uh, towards you in conversations or arguments or whatever y'all were having verbal spats 
fine, you know, because I'm I'm going to I'm, you 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 just hellacious right now. You just hellacious. You got hell in you, and you just want to burn it off. See, your mama ain't teaching that. She more around here trying to be your twin, your friend, a, a, instead of being a mama and chastising you. And hey, put the paws on you if she have to. Hey, are you us in a sense? Like most mama said back in the day, I brought you in the world, I take you out. Bam, they get with it. Okay, because me and my daughter, hey, she got a little too refreshed at the mouth too. She thought I was trying to be her friend. And I had to definitely size her down to where she was and tell her, I'm not your equal. I'm your mama. And that's held in heart, esteem, and regard, okay? Don't ever get it twisted. You may see me as your best friend. And maybe when I get old, decrepit, and feeble, I may look at you as my best friend. But I will still say to this day, I am your mother, okay? If I am being respected out there and I have taught you to be respectful of your elders, Damn sure you better toe the line, baby. Because me and my daughter, when she got fresh in high school, and we were rolling on the floor like two fat ele- elephants trying to bathe each other, okay? I was going to kill her. I was going to let her meet her creator back, all right? I'm just saying. Mama day up don't play. My mama verge didn't play. So we don't come from no no slick mouth. You, it, it put it like that. If you said the shit, I didn't hear it. Okay, it was like under the tongue. And if you muddled too 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 close to me, I probably would have grabbed you. You know what I'm saying? However, I could get you by your hair, by your neck, by your armpits. I didn't care. You just didn't do it. And I didn't play, and I still don't play to this day. Cause people tell people would tell. Sean, so she would tell people, don't mess with my mom. Don't go there. And then don't, 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 don't be cussing in front of her. Don't, just be respectful. And hey, they really are. They truthful. Because I can cuss you out without even basically saying a cuss word if you get underneath my drawers. You know what I'm saying? But if it depends if I'm ratchet that day. <coughs> and I have a ratchet spirit on me. Yeah, you probably be like, how they say, drunk sailors be cussing like whatever. That's what you might get me. And it don't even really seem right when I be cussing. But sometimes it just feel good. And I have to repent. You know what I'm saying? I have to repent to the Lord. Because, you know, I should have came out that way. Because I always try to stay respectful and in tune with what I'm trying to, you know, teach people. But. Like I said, your mama ain't nothing. She did you nothing but disservice your whole entire life. Because there is no way in the world she raised you to be calling yourself in to put paws on anybody, mama. Grandmama. Uh, auntie. I don't care. That's an assault charge if you really want to look at the bigger picture. But in the black family here, we just getting even. And we just want to choke the living shit out you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to call the cops because we're going to beat you down. You're going to be too... Um, uh, what do you call it? You're going to be too tired and, and too sore to be trying to pick up a phone and call somebody. You're going to just be like, damn, why did I say that? Why did I do that? And then you're going to be aching all at the same time. Because we're going to be done whipped up your, whooped up, whooped you upside your head. Dragged you probably with every little tool we had in the kitchen. Well, you would never forget that beating. Okay, that's what I'm just saying. That's what happened. Why are you sitting up here being a comedian out here and thinking that's cute? Busting it low, spreading it wide because a man got money. I mean, who taught you that type of theory? Who taught you that type of living? What happened to your your sense of responsibility of getting your own, having your own? What happened, Portia? But no, ma'am, you would not be jumping on Miss Gina. No, ma'am, no, Lord, no, God. You would not be doing that. And definitely, I know Dennis was like, oh, shit, hell no. Nah. I know she ain't coming for my mom. I know this trick done messed up, sold her a fairy tale dream. But I'm finna bring her back to reality. She better get out of my way. Because I know I just didn't see her lunge at my mama. And I'm like, okay, somebody get Dennis. But where are the men in Portia family? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you're going to have a lot of women trying to restrain Dennis. Because he can't believe that his so-called baby mama that he once loved, cherished, and was going to definitely marry if she would sign that prenup, okay? He, she trying to lunge at my mama and hit my mama. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what kind of L Miss Miss Gina got. Yes, is she slick at the mouth? Yes, uh, but that's her son. So she's going to protect him. Is he a mama boy? Yes, but guess what? Her livelihood is attached to his business because she gave him the funds or she helped him start up his first company. 
where he has branched out into several locations here in Georgia. So yes, protect your interests, Mama Gina. Don't let nobody come in and destroy what you have built up. You, the, Well, I should say the Lord, you and your uh, son, Dennis, honey, ride to those wheels fall off because you can't have no husband coming in. I think she's going to swoop up something that you put together and ask Lord, the Lord to bless it for you. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, Lord. And then I'll be at Miss Diane's house saying, what kind of trappling trick did you just raise up thinking she going to whoop me? So since I had to handle her, now I'm going to have to come handle you because I got the goo. You was good for the goose is going to be good for the gallon. And I would have been swinging, swinging, swinging like I'm hanging from the chandelier, jumping on her like a... I don't know, a mad rabbit dog, because I got your daughter, now I got to get you, because I got to beat some sense back into one of y'all, so one of y'all can teach each other, each, each other how to straighten up and fly right. Man, that was a piece of tea that I heard over at Tea's Tail. I said, oh, hell to the no, no, no. No, this girl has bumped her head. She done went from pretty to ugly to insane in my book. And I'm seeing red. And until I see that episode come Sunday, all right, we got to wait till Sunday, y'all. And I'm hoping it's not what Tisa Tales has allegedly said out there. That Portia was trying to put hands on Mama Jana. I'm hoping if it I'm hoping it wasn't. Because I promise you. If that was the truth, every last video I'm going to be making going to be dragging Portia ass, okay? It's going to be dragging her, her mama, her whole side of Diane family. And then I heard, because you know I'm laying in my bed trying to get it all together, trying to get it straightened out with my health and all that, because all y'all were throwing blessings my way, you know, praying for me that I get better, that I get in sync, that my head just get uncongested and get back out here. Child, I heard the best friend, Elsa, and then she sell real estate or something. And I'm like, baby, don't hurt your business getting into this reality mess. Why are you over at Sunday Army? Oh, uh, it's a son. I always get her last name confused. Let me see. Omni. Yes, Sunday Omni channel. Posting pictures from her channel on her Instagram page. Now, her name is, what, well, Elsa James, I think. Um, Sunday had said. But yeah, took some pictures from uh, Sunday's show, put it on her Instagram account, talking about haters gonna be haters. I'm like, baby, haters can make you, uh, make you be motivated as well. So why have you taken your bestie behind over there, trying to raise sand, talking about haters gonna be haters? Hell, you ain't say shit. What, what, this Simon got y'all on payroll or something? But what you need to be doing, Esther, is sitting over there, continue being a best friend of Diane and watch they ship go down, and then you won't be having no Merry Christmases, no Merry Thanksgivings over there trying to be in the limelight and trying to sell houses to the rich and famous, okay? Because they ain't going to be one to be associated with Portia, so get your good while it's going, okay? Get your good while it's going because had no business over there trying to say these YouTube bloggers or anybody YouTube bloggers, don't miss business with pleasure, okay? Do business, business. If you want to be on a Ratchet TV show, uh, do you boo? Maybe it's you, it's a smart move for you to kind of rub your heads and your hands with other influential people that can give you contacts to sell houses, cause that's your bread and butter. You sell houses, right? Don't get messed up in no YouTube beef. Show, bringing yourself down from the chariot that you're supposed to be on, making bank, trying to take up for Diane ass who ain't even trying to take up for herself or her daughter. What the hell is wrong with you, Esther James? Okay, let Diane handle that mess. It's enough to have you on TV. And like Sunday said, look at Thirsty. Okay, because you, you did look some kind of way like you wanted an African or Liberian or or a Nigerian man yourself. It, it kind of look. But the Simon don't want you, baby, because you old. You old. He want these young women out here to make himself feel good about being old. Okay? And he wants somebody he can control. That's who he got. Because he don't get nobody. They got some, some ump about themselves that 
that are, are very comfortable in their skin and they can make money for themselves. They know who they are is what I'm talking about. He can't mess with women like that. He can mess with Diane. He probably can mess with you too. All right. And for a quiet as a Carolina, so I'm speaking out. Hell, Simon might be doing Diane and Portia at the same damn time. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm going with? And no, he could not handle Miss Gina because Miss Gina would get his ass straight. She will be like, let me see your financial portfolio. Let's go to your bank of Let's see what we got, what we're working with, okay? Before we get into the, to the shenanigans or whatnot. But going back to Miss Elsa, then I'm going to put her to rest, okay? And I hope that she won't come back out, all right? And I'm not just taking up for Sunday or, or any other blog. I'm just saying, if I got my own business and I'm straight and I was told to try to come help out with somebody's pilot show, I'm going to be uh, very cool, calm, and collected because I don't want my real business to reflect on the shenanigans that I'm trying to be a part of only because in the back of my mind, I'm seeing money. I'm seeing dollar signs. I'm seeing revenue I can collect by being around these influential people in entertainment business. I'm not going to go up there and get in nobody's beef and, 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 and push out the acting damn fool. I'm just going to be patting her shoulder and saying, baby, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. I ain't finna sit up there and ain't it. I'm not finna get locked, loaded, and ready to spray any type of energy towards anybody on the show. I'm not going to do it because I'm messing up my bank. I'm messing up what I really do for a living, meaning getting people to buy houses, okay? It ain't got nothing to do with me. I probably would never be seen again on the show. But just I'll be passing out my little business cards with my real estate, you know, emblem on it. Say, call me if you need a house to live in. Call me if your credit is A1. Call me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going around here talking about, uh, there's so many haters out here. And she referred to Sunday Ottoman. Like, girl, kiss rock. Kick rocks. Put a rock in your mouth and just sit there and let it marinate. But that's all I got for Elsa Jane. Just it really pissed me off. I'm like, you sitting up here trying to sit up here getting on a YouTube, but when you need to be straightening your best friend out, because Portia has definitely lost her freaking mind. Especially if she talking about putting paws on Mama Gina. I can't take it. I am so over it. But I got another video to do. Uh, on Dennis possibly trying to seek full custody or just putting some on the book saying I won't have custody of my daughter because I don't trust her mama no more and I damn sure don't trust Simon her fiance okay that's another video I got coming up but I'm like if mama Gina did say no nah, son you got to go get custody because if this helper tried to put hands on me as you all saw. And see, and Pope PJ is going to be put in the middle because I'm sure she love Mama Gina. I'm sure she do because she don't spend time with her, this, that, and third. And, you know, uh, Mama Diane be up there, Grandma Diane be up there keeping her all the time because when Portia Jet said doing what she feels she need to be doing, trying to be a single maid, hey, one day, and then to be a, a single mom, hey, another day. No, the two don't go that way, Portia. Your ass is 40 years old, going on 41 if you're God willing, you see it, okay? You 40 years old. Your jet set days, baby days are over. You need to be sitting up there worried about PJ's best interest, how you look at in social media, and how you can continue to make money in this, in this industry being respectful and respected. And that's the two things that you're not being shown as. And then you're going to get mad at Dennis because you thought of this uh, crazy show and it has spun around to show you as a possible failure at anything and forget don't even say you got executive producer rights we don't want to hear that shit because we know that's a vain empty title that holds no weight okay because if it had some uh some heavy weight to it we would have never saw this foolishness on tv we would have shown more of your businesses your fiance's businesses how dennis businesses are doing well how you and dennis are co-parenting without any uh input from simon okay because simon don't need to be saying shit about the support of baby girl pj just as long as he handling his head 
and you're handling your end, uh, uh, Dennis ain't got shit to say in my book, okay? Not in my book until we get to know him at least five to ten years, okay? Strong relationships, building, and all of that. Now, if something were to happen to Dennis, then, okay, he wouldn't have anything to say. But, you don't know, we stay in a, in a, a, a city that definitely values grandparents. Yes, grandparents have laws now. Well, you can't stop. You can't stop the actions of uh, your child seeing that grandparents. No, believe it or not, look it up, Portia. So, all this, like, sheltering, you don't want Dennis to have your child. Why you out of town? You want your child to stay with your mom. Damn, ain't your mama still working? Or if she ain't working, don't she have a business to attend to? Okay. And I don't never see her in her own damn house no more. What's up with that portion? What's up with your mom? She staying with you? Because it seems like me. Simon want to separate you from your mama too. He don't want to see her up in the house. <coughs> Unless she is making... A breakfast for him and you or probably him. Like I said, hey, he might be getting both y'all in the sheets. We don't know. We don't know. Okay? But that's all I have for this video, y'all. Y'all get down in them comments and tell me what y'all thought. Do we have to go and bo uh, boycott Portia? We had to protest against her. Talk about, you ain't gonna put your hands on those senior citizens, girl. We need to send you back to anger management. Then we need to turn around and send you back to uh respecting your elders we need to get you into your biblical works again and where we make you read honor thy father and thy mother okay we we need to do something child because evidently the rod was spared on you you ain't get enough butt whippings from your mama because your mama trying to play like your twin or your mama trying to be your sister when that that was not the role was given to her she was given to you as a mother as a role model as a nurturer but now i'm sitting around here what the hell did diane raise okay did she raised shout out to Tamara Talis too I used one of her little pictures uh go over there and catch her on her show she's another youtuber very high with the numbers you enjoy her commentary I have watched it and I was very pleased so go over there and enjoy her as well talk about you want to be a blended family you see how mama Gina up there smiling with baby PJ and then you sitting up here calling her all these kinds of ugly names and then just because Dennis bought a girl on the trip and you call her slut ain't even met the girl Okay, she might be a physician. She might be somebody that'll catch you when you need some help. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what that woman got under her belt, but you call her a slut. I think she need to return the favor and call you a slut. Okay, because that's what you dressed like. That's what you looking like. That's what you acting like around here, Portia. A slut. Okay? <sighs> but I digress. For another video, another time. You guys be breezy, be blessed, and I will see y'all next time. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.